Take this slow, we've got miles behind us, but miles to go, so let's just break this down to the simplest truth. You and I as one will always be better than two. Time to pull up anchor. mud on our anchor here. <clears throat> Ooh, a lot of mud and grass. Yeah, let's get the boat hook on it. I'll get it. Made it through hatchet bait cuts, heading to Spanish Well. Should be about a six, seven hour day. Winds uh, 173 at 14. So we got our sails out on the starboard side. We're going about six, six and a half. Started right here, hatchet bay. We're gonna go through this cut right here it's called current cut current goes through there really fast and be screaming through there so we got to get it on slack tide it's gonna be high tide when we go through that it should be about around 11 o'clock we are then uh it gets shallow through here so then we're going to cut through here go through here uh we could go this way that's the shallow way to go but we're going to go the deep route come in hang a left and we're going to go to this marina right here Yacht Haven Marina. That's our goal for the day. So far, we're doing good. Both sails up. Starlink's working fine. All right. I'll try to remember to film it going through the cut. Could be exciting. You just never know. We've made it to current cut. Now we've got our sails down, ready to go through the cut. But we're here about an hour and 15 minutes early. We were too fast today. That doesn't happen often for us. So, we'll probably sail around and kill a little time. Or motor around.
We are not the only ones that got up here early today. There are seven or eight boats that we can see waiting to go through the cut here. There's just a few showing up on AIS. And here's the cut we're all waiting to go through. I don't mind this area though. Look at that water. This is Meek's Patch Anchorage, just outside of Spanish Wells. We're getting close.
is Wealth Yacht Haven, and this is Wreckers Restaurant. Just ordered some barbecue chicken nachos. Give them a try. Good. You, you need to try it. Come here, try it. Alutra, Spanish Wells. Well, good morning, everybody. Let's take a uh, tour of the Spanish Wells Yacht Haven. We got here yesterday afternoon. And uh, so let's give a little tour of the marina. There's about, I think, 30 slips, enough boats for if you put two in a slip, maybe 60. I could be wrong. Okay, so it looks like 40, 46 spots for boats. And a lot of these slips, take, like I said, take two. You can take two boats, so 20, 23 slips. <clears throat> you can do golf cart rentals here. I think those are around 50 bucks a day. Those are some of the nicest showers I've seen at a uh, marina. Right up there is some of the, uh, the top U.S. marina for showers. Okay, I'm on the other side of the marina. They also have a pool you can use. Nice. I think some of these uh, buildings over here are rentals. Here's your... I don't know what they got in there. Right supplies and stuff the pool area not huge but nice it's five minute yesterday cool off it was a hot day yesterday just didn't have any much airflow around like this morning not gonna be windy for the next few days we're only gonna stay here like two and a half days we're gonna leave it's Sunday morning now we're gonna leave Tuesday sometime Second half of the marina. Go take a little walk. Spanish Wells. A lot of golf carts here. Hold on, there's one coming by. I want to shoot a little picture of this sign. Oh, there. They stopped. Sign World. I don't know what it is. Oh, there's some ram horn. License plates. Michigan. Not sure what this is. There's Michigan. Oh, there's Tennessee. Michigan, Government Tennessee. service. Okay, let's go. So our plan for the day is we're going to hit the, the beach over here at high tide. I think it's pink sand. Does it have pink sand? Mm -hmm. It has pink sand. Um, and then we're going to go at low tide so you can see the difference. That's our goal for the day. And to show you some of the cool looking places in Spanish Wales as you walk around.
definitely will be back here. This is high tide. It's about noon. And in about six hours, that's about the tide change. It's gonna drop down about three feet. You can see the sandbar out there. It goes out there a ways. Let's go take a walk out there. This is also one of the beaches. It's supposed to be kind of pink sand. And yeah, I can see that. It has a little bit of pink to it. But no, not that way. Just a hint of pink. Let's try another shot of the pink in the water. Oh yeah, right there. Not quite like pink like a house colored paint pink, but rental properties along the north side of Eleuthera, Spanish Wells area. Great place to rent a property right through here. Still high tide. We're gonna head around the corner on that house because I think there's a bigger sandbar over there. At least at low tide there will be, I think, according to the map. Trying to get a video of the, how pink it is right through here. That's what they talk about when they say pink sand. Here's one of the nicest churches we've seen in a while Spanish Wells Methodist Church. Pastor Brooks. Beautiful grounds. Nice peaceful sitting area. Low tide. So high tide is way up here, low tide down there, and you can walk right across. High tide, you can see where the water goes comes up to. And now it's way way down there Let's go over here and take another look Sarah and I are out on the scooter today, going from Spanish Wales Island over to Russell Island. 
give you a quick view of that here here's the bridge that spans the two islands Let's see if i can't walk across here that's it russell island they have their own little beach so this is a pavilion we've seen from that bridge before we head over to russell island Very pretty out here. Great beaches, Russell Island right over here. We're on Spanish Wales Island. If you haven't been following us, that is in the Bahamas. See, we scootered. It's about mid tide right now. Side stand we stopped by. A gift shop. These are almost like our little wedding salvage. Oh yeah. That's cute. These are the look at those. Mm, you could cut a shell in half. Sometimes they'll lay it into Look at some, that bowl. lay that into some cement, and uh, that'd be the top of it. I I they had that one crack show in uh, uh, Zuma's. In Zuma's, they had those cut like that. This? Yeah. Here's a nice view on Russell Island. See if they have any treats going on here hello Hi. this is what we got at the bakery normally it's uh, you message them and uh they make it for you i'm gonna have sarah open that up so you can get a better picture instead of a glary picture you just want to take it lick your finger in it don't you mm, that'll be big i don't think it'll work i figured you'd stick you your go. finger in it okay well let's see <laughs> cream cheese frosting very good This is our lemonade slushy. Frozen lemonade. Frozen lemonade. From Sweeting Sweet, I think is what it's called. Yep. They have. They're not on the. We're not. They're not officially on Google Maps yet. I'm about to put them there. Though. But Sarah's about ready to tag them there. And they have cinnamon rolls, cupcakes, um, sometimes donuts, guava flavored stuff. And they got so. a Facebook. I don't know what kind of pages do they have. They have a Facebook.